All right, uh, another repair. So these um, these supplies were one of my favorite that that uh, Hewlett Packard ever made. It's a 6236B triple output power supply, so you can have five volts and plus and minus 15 all in one supply, and it's got nice meters and stuff in it. Uh, and I have a newer Agilent version of this that has digital meters and stuff in it, but I, I do like this one. Um, you can make it track. Um, so, uh, this one I got for, let's see if I can tilt it over, can you kind of be in focus? It says, as is not working, $60. All right. Uh, so, take that off. This says, asset number. There's a calibration tag on it. Uh-oh, there's a screw missing out the top. That's never a good thing. Precision measurements calibration. Okay, calibration tag. Ah, but there's a tag on it. So, the tag says... Problem, performed 888-0445-422A. Power supply pulled down plus or minus 12 volts DC down to zero volts DC. Plus or minus 12 volts DC to zero volts DC loaded. When it was loaded with test fixture. Uh, in the year 20, so not too long ago, uh, so they basically loaded it down and it, and it didn't output any voltage. <laughs> so maybe a pass transistor, uh, maybe feedback or something. Uh, hopefully it's not a... The only thing really that you are worried about these things is if the transformer melts down, then you can't do anything with them other than use the, use the case. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's open it up and take a look inside. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, the output is 0 to 6 volts on this connector, 2.5 amps, and these are plus and minus 20 volt, up to plus and minus 20 volts at half an amp. We're avoiding the calibration. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. I bend it this way. Take a look inside. It's dusty inside. Doesn't look like anybody's been in there. So I don't think a repair attempt was made. They probably said it would cost more to fix it than to buy a new one. It's usually the way it is with these things. Got some nice big capacitors in there. Um, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's look at the potential culprits. Let's see here. Let me ju adjust you a bit. So, I always find these interesting. They put the uh, transformer right in the middle to balance it. When you pick them up, they're kind of balanced, instead of having everything back heavy. Um, maybe they had to do that. I don't know. Anyway, there's a bunch of transistors in the back here. If you can, there we go. You can see down in there, there's a bunch of uh, TO3s. So that's all of the heavy-duty drive conditions. And if those go bad, it doesn't output anything. Um... Yeah, and they're matched pairs. This look, this looks like a these these two transistors match, and those two transistors match. So one's probably PNP, one's NPN. And I don't see. Sometimes there's a big giant load resistor on the side, but just back down here looks like there's a couple. Looks like maybe they're 20 watt, something like that. Um, here's the line selector. Let's see if it's selected right. Uh, 120 and 241. I think that's right, yeah. It's strapped for 120. So, 
Uh, I suppose we can validate what they found. I'll get my load out and uh, see if we can't uh, try this thing out and see what symptoms it has. Um, yeah. Okay, let's turn it on. Uh, we got a light and the meter came up, so that's a good thing. Uh, okay, here's the six volt meter and it goes up and down. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if it's not putting voltage. Okay, I have a meter. Um, looks like three and a half volts here and looks like three and a half volts there. Let's set it to three volts. Yeah, three volts. Five volts, yeah, five volts, six volts, so that at least is outputting voltage correctly. Let's check the plus 20. And plus 20, adjust this one. 10 volts is 10 volts. 20 volts, so that's working fine. And then the minus 20. Um, Let's see, minus 20, we want to have them track together. I guess that's what fixed, that's what that does. We have minus 10 volts there. Yeah, they're tracking, right? Yeah, they're both, yeah, they're both tracking. Okay, so, so 15 volts and 20 volts. So anyway, so it's unloaded, it works great, uh, okay. And I guess it said when it loads, it crowbar. So that could be a current sense problem. These do not have current control. There's no way on the front panel to set a constant current mode. These are just voltage output only. So there might be a circuit inside that watches for overcurrent conditions and then just choop, turns off the output. So that's probably more likely of what's going on. But let me, uh, let me get out a load and we'll see what it does. All right, let's uh, hook, up, hook up the load. And we've got two volts, two volts, and this is good to two and a half amps. So let's increase the current here to one amp. And we still have two volts going out. Let's increase the voltage here to five volts. All right, so we have five volts at an amp. We'll keep going, it's supposed to be good for two and a half. So there's two, yeah, so the six volt, six volt is working great. All right, so let's, tr the complaint was on the plus and minus tw 12. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it with the plus. We have plus, let's go to plus 12. Let's adjust it for plus 12. There we go. And we'll start increasing the current and half an amp, and it crowbars. Ah, there we go. That looks like a definite. It just goes up. Oh. Oh, it's working fine. The supply is only good to half an amp. And there's half an amp. And if we go above half an amp, it crowbars, which is what exactly what it should be doing. <laughs> so maybe the test engineer had no clue what they were doing. Maybe they had it set to two and a half amps and they tested both sides at two and a half amps. Well, yeah, the 12 volt side's gonna fail because it only goes to half an amp. Wow. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong at all with this thing. Here we go, 15 volts. Let's go all the way, let's go to 20 volts and see if you can output half an amp at 20 volts. Let's 
Sure can. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. No repair, no repair video here. Just a stupidity video. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, a good lesson, don't believe everything you read. Wow. Okay, let's try the minus 20 since we're here. Uh, okay, well, that's disappointing. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Hmm. So, Mr. Looks like, looks like T.I. Nguyen, T.I.V. Nguyen, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you should find better work. <laughs> get better training. <laughs> oh, man. Hard to get good help these days, huh? Well, that's disappointing. Oh, well. So I have a cool triple output parcel, but I actually really like these things. Um, not that I really have room for it on my bench, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll make room for it. They are really nice. Um, yeah, only half an amp. But most of the time, that's fine.